Hello and welcome to the latest Training Tuesday video. My name's Darren, I'm one of the training officers here at Warwick and today I'm going to be giving you an overview of the control system on the latest 600-800 Combi 2 range. Okay, so if you move in and we have a look at our new control system, what I'm going to try to do to you today is explain exactly what all these new buttons do. So, starting with the heating control, this control now gives the customer the ability to actually turn the heating off. And it also then is used to reactivate our temperature setting. Again, moving over to the hot water control, does exactly the same. Customers now got the ability to turn off the hot water and then reinstate by just simply turning the dial. If we move to the lower buttons, button one is simply a return button. So everything I do within the boiler parameters, I would use to return to come back to the main screen. Button two is a reset button. Button three is the button we would use to access all of our parameters. And button four is simply an accept button. So everything I do, and I want to go into more detail, I would just use the little tick, the accept button, to allow me to continue through those parameters. So if I press button three, this now brings me into my parameters. What you will see on the display is a list of icons. The first icon is I. And that's flashing. Now that is a parameter icon to tell me information. So purely information, I can't influence anything else. Button two is our customer menu. Three is our engineer menu. Four is for errors. And five is our service function. So if I scroll back now to our engineer icon, and it's flashing, I can now press the tick button. This now allows me to go into those parameters. This will now display me a list of parameters. I can scroll through those parameters using either button. I can then select whichever parameter I require. And to do that, I press the enter button or the tick. Once I've finished with my parameters, so I've done everything I need to do at the time, I then use the return button to then escape the menu and go right the way back to my main screen. That was a quick overview of our latest control functions. So stay tuned for future Training Tuesday videos where we'll go into more detail on how to use those parameters.